Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and in this video we will demonstrate a mixing example in Aspen Plus. So here is the question, okay? So as what we have seen in the question, we have four components, okay? And the, that are propane, butane and pentane hexane. So let's just open Aspen and uh, just specify the components first. First is propane then butane uh, butane uh, and then pentane and lastly hexane so what we have here is we have three streams and we need to mix them so let's see how we can do it and the property specified here is shao cedar so is it, this is the one shao cedar let's click on it and let's go to n n means next go to simulation environment okay and here we are in the flow sheet space okay the simulation environment let's mix uh, so first we need a mixer let's select a mixer and drag and drop it up here then add three material streams to it like this is s1 the first then the second this and the third then we need to just right click anywhere uh yes right click anywhere to uh to did to actually make them aligned here and to not select unselect the material stream now let's put up a product stream that would be s4 so this is s1 s2 s3 and the product is s4 next we need to specify these streams let's click on click on it and so as per the question let's put our temperature and pressure so the units the main things thing is the units we need to take care of the units that are given in the question and actually have them accordingly so 300 psi okay pounds square inch that's it and that would this is all in alphabetical order so psi is here next let's put up uh, the mole flows that are given in the question so mole flow is already selected by default then the unit is really important here okay if units you put in wrong units then you will get a wrong result of course so lb per lb mole per hour and let's then put put in the uh yes 20 okay and 30 and again it was pentane was 30 and hexane was 20 yes total 100 yes so let's click on next okay n for next okay that's the next input that we require so it is s2 okay and s2 is 250 fahrenheit and the pressure is in psi and it is 400 psi let's change the units and it is already mole flow we just need to take care of the units lb mole per hour and finally we need to put up put in the different values of mole flows of different components okay so this is how we do that and then let's click on next and in this part we are given the vapor fraction instead of pressure okay and so temperature we have first the temperature that is given and along with that vapor fraction is given so you just need to oh, oh sorry i just click something else uh, you just need to actually put in the temperature first and the next thing that is to be specified here is uh, the temperature is in fahrenheit only right pressure as it is not given okay the pressure is not given like we did for the two uh, other two streams but here instead of pressure uh, sorry uh, instead of pressure we are given vapor fraction so we need to select the vapor fraction for this particular question 
let's put in the vapor fraction as 0 0.5 and again change the again do the same thing it'll be more per hour as given in the question so units i always say units are really very important let's put in the values 0 pentane pentane value is 30 and hexane was given as 20 okay let's run the flow sheet okay let's run the simulation okay that's okay let's click on okay everything is, seems to be okay let's see so we need to find the value of this s4 that's the final mixed product let's go to the control panel and there are no warnings and there are no errors that's great we did it successfully i hope you would try your also space and we go in the home we go to the report to click on ok and get the report of it so this is the whole report actually but uh, let me just show you uh, in a much simplified way the model summary uh, and here you in the le left hand side you can click on uh, streams and here in the streams we will get a better classified data and we have this s4 and also other uh, streams but main was our s4 so we, the last column uh, you can see the values of mass flows molar fractions of s4 thank you please subscribe